All right, here we were. This is, I think, the slide where we ended, or maybe close to it. Sokatoa. Sokatoa. And what is this? Named? What's it's a, it's got a special name? Huh? Pythagoras theorem. That's all that is. Become comfortable with these, pay attention to them, think about them, begin to use them. All right, I think, actually this was the slide we were at. Here's the problem, we're dealing with vectors right now. So I got these two vectors, A plus B. What is the answer? Well, there's two ways to solve this problem. One is to sketch my solution. The other one is to grind out the numbers. I have the ability to get numbers here. How do I do that? Well, let's do our sketch. What's the first thing I do? I can take B and move it tip to tail with A, right? B and then A, so let's move B over, and B goes up like that. So there's B. I just moved it over and put it to the end. My resultant, my answer that I'm looking for is start here at the beginning and go all the way to there. So what would be my answer? I think there's actually, on your notes, there's a set of A, B, C, D, right? Some options there. Well, if I want to put it into, into, into component form, which I think is what your answer choices are, I need to figure out what the X component of this new vector is and the Y component. Well, what is the X components of this new vector? What's the X component? How do I find it on this nice picture? I just count. Where is it? At 11. So it's 11. What is the Y component? Nine. If I asked you to, so if I ask it in, in component form, you can write it like this, or you can write it as 11x hat plus 9y hat. Either way is correct. That's written in component form. If I ask you for the magnitude of that vector, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? Find the angle and and the actual length of it, right? So how do I find the length of this? The 11 squared plus 9 squared, all square rooted, will give me the length. I haven't done the calculation, so I'm not sure what that number works out to be. And what angle? So I'm trying to find that angle. That's the angle I should be looking for. Or, I could find that angle. You need to pay it, most times I'm gonna ask from the horizontal up. But you need to make sure you know which one you found and or which one it is actually looking for. Because it could depend on the situation, how the thing is set up. And how would we find this? Let's find theta, not phi. Theta. How would I find it? So, uh, which one? What do I know? What? I know the adjacent side, and I know the I know the X and the Y. I know those numbers right now. So I would use tan of theta equals equals opposite over adjacent. So that would be nine over 11. And 
Theta is going to be tan to the minus one of nine elevenths. Whatever number that works out to be. Questions? No. You're very rarely you're gonna have a nice grid like this. This is more just to help you understand either way. But if I if I give you some if I gave you just the numbers for A and B, something's wrong, not working on one of my things here, so I don't have these extra buttons on the bottom. But if I just gave you that A is what is it, seven two? So seven x hat plus two y hat, and b is four x hat plus seven y hat. If I just gave you those numbers and you don't have a grid, you could still do all the same calculations and all the same thing. Because what did we do? How did we get this 11 and this nine? Ultimately, what did we do? If we don't have the picture, what did we do? We just added the x component. So 7 plus 4 is 11, and 2 plus 7 is 9. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I give you just the length of this and this angle, what do you need to do? That's basically what... Right now, what do I need to do at that point? If I give you the length of A and the angle of A and the angle of B and its length, what do I need to do? Well, if I gave you it in component form, you saw how to do the calculation, right? Just add up the X components, add up the Y components, and there I am. <laughs> Pythagoras theorem or well if I give you a let's say we rewrite this and we say a is I'm just making numbers up right now so a is 10 units at an angle of 15 degrees what would I do to figure out and b is some kind of numbers Use sine and cosine to get what? The components, right? The X and Y components. So I got to use, I go backwards to find the X and Y components. Using, so on A, so using these numbers I have up here, the x component, so ax would be what? That's the adjacent side. The x component is the adjacent side. So I would go, well, so cator, cosine is adjacent. So it would be, so cosine of theta equals adjacent over my hypotenuse. And what am I looking for? The adjacent side, so which is, this is my AX. AX is going to be H hypotenuse times the cosine of whatever my angle is, which would be 10 times the cosine of 15 degrees. That will give me the X component of A. My Y component of A, so A sub Y, what is it going to be? It's going to be, what, which function am I going to use? The sine, right? So it's going to ultimately be A sine theta. A being the number of, that's the 10, the hypotenuse. And whatever that works out to be. And I'd have to do that for, for vector B. So then I get all the ex exponents, all, all the components, add up the x's and y's, and then recombine them back again. So remember I said at least 100 times now that we are going to be eating and breathing and going to the bathroom, Sokotoa, because you're going to be doing this calculation. You're going to, most times you're going to be given 
just the vector and the angle, and you're going to have to break it into its components to do all your calculations and then recombine things at the end. I can't hear you. So Pythagoras theorem? No. One of the identity? No. Because that the problem with that identities is they're not this Sokotoa is for right angles. Those are for other whatever angles. You can't I would never use it because these are for right angles. Sokotoa is for right angles, and every vector that we ever use, you can create a right triangle with it. And these are easier than that. So, I mean, your right triangle is right there. This one, it's right there. No matter where you are in a situation, you can draw a right triangle for every vector. <coughs> What is the H? It's the hypotenuse. In our terms, it is always the length of the vector itself. <coughs> so on every vector, the hypotenuse will be the length of the vector itself. And X and Y components will be what we see on the sides. Questions? Any other questions? Yeah, so you, you don't need to worry about all these other identities. The only two trigonomic trig identities you really need to know is Sokotoa and the Pythagoras theorem. That's it. You can do everything with those those basic situations. Questions? Yeah. So and so a what I did here is the hypotenuse. I could replace that H with an A, because that's what I gave the length of A, right? I just wrote hypotenuse because we were just doing generic. Don't be lazy. Go through this little exercise and do the algebra correctly so that you make sure you're doing it correctly. Ah, okay. What's the difference between AX and A, right? What is the difference between them? AX is my adjacent side. A sub Y is my opposite side. And A is the, the vector itself. In, in, well, in, in the example when I was talking with you here, I gave A as 10. So we're finding the AX and the AY. An example, let me give you more of what you'll see, because you're not going to see A is whatever. You're going to see a ball is shot off of a cliff at 20, at 20 meters per second, 20 degrees above the horizontal. So 20 meters per second is the length of the vector. That's the A. And the angle you're given is 25 meters, degrees, whatever number I gave. And you'll need to find the Vx, the x component of the velocity, and the vertical component of the velocity, the Vy. So that's a, you know, they'll always be, it'll end up being a Vx and a Vy and V. Yeah, by getting the components, we'll be able to use them to manipulate and do the calculations. You'll do all your calculations using the components and then recombine them again. 